Hi, my name is Sarah. I will be making calzones today. Um, it's going to be a salami provolone and spinach calzone, but certainly you can make whatever you'd like. Ham and cheddar, turkey and Swiss, you can make it a veggie one, you can throw some olives in there. Really, whatever you want. Dough, cheese, plus or minus meat, plus or minus veggies, roll it up and then you got a calzone. So I typically use um, store-bought pizza or calzone dough. If you are brave and you want to make your own, feel free. I go the easy route. And so um, I guess I'll just start for you. The first thing you want to do is roll out your dough. I do use a rolling pin um, and a rather large surface. Um, what you want to do is take some regular flour, sprinkle it on your surface so that your dough doesn't stick to everything. And then just plop your dough there. Again, put a little bit of flour on your rolling pin. You don't want to use so much flour that the dough isn't going to stick to the surface to keep its shape. So what I typically do is stretch the dough out initially. You want to try to get a rectangular pattern so as to make an easier rolling surface and a filling surface. All right, and if the dough breaks, just fold it in half, squish down, and you're good to go. We're going to go ahead and roll it. And you do have to use a little bit of muscle. And mine is kind of not rectangular quite yet, but there's a way to fix that. <laughs> there's a way to fix that. Just stretch the dough over, and you're good. So this is about... On average, it takes me about five minutes to get my dough to the shape and the consistency that I want. Once you get it pretty close, you can also stretch the sides and stick it down to your surface so that you're more rectangular. And you'll get a feel for the consistency and the depth of the dough as well. And it does kind of retract back, that's normal. As long as it somewhat resembles a rectangular pattern as so, it's good enough. So now we're ready to fill it with our ingredients. Okay, now we are ready to fill our calzone. What I recommend is starting with the cheese first. As the cheese melts, it melts into your dough and it makes a pretty nice gooey texture. So again, I'm using provolone. You just lay it single file or in one, one level here. And on average, it's about a half a pound of provolone, give or take. Um, when I make calzones, I tend to make three, four, five at a time. If I'm going to be rolling everything out, might as well just make a whole bunch and I give them to neighbors and friends. And Or you can actually make it, not bake it, but freeze it. And that way, week or two down the road when you feel like having a calzone you just pop it in the oven. So as you can see I'm putting on my salami and it's about a quarter of a pound. And notice how I leave a little extra dough up here. You'll see when, once I roll it that that is actually the flap that kind of tucks everything in. Okay, So we have our cheese and our meat now it's time to put on the spinach. Now this has, spinach has been washed, dried and despined. So I'd recommend you do that before you start anything. And you just kind of put it right in the middle. I have extra, kel um, extra spinach here. You just kind of pile it high, right in the center. So now to roll the calzone, you kind of take one edge and flip it. Now I do kind of push it down to take some of the air out of the spinach. And as you're doing it, you kind of tuck your spinach back in. So once you do one roll, you take the edges and flip it in, okay? Pinch the dough on the edge just to seal it up, okay? Okay, now, push that spinach back in, tuck it in, and then you just continue to roll. And again, I do squeeze some of the air out. Okay, I 
Actually, we'll tuck this this way. And then here's that extra flap that I was talking about. You just kind of roll it all together. And then you have an almost completed calzone. I have learned through experience to seal this edge. The best way to do it is have a little, little touch of water here. You just kind of seal the edge like that. Dip your fingers in the water. And that will kind of, um, it almost feels like it's melting the dough a bit. And it allows you to really seal it in. Okay. Then I flip it over, seal side down just like that. And then what you want to do is baste it with a beaten egg. Now this will allow, or would, it eventually makes your, um, your calzone nice and brown and it just kind of completes everything. And I tend to baste kind of the edges and through here, just kind of baste everything. So now that we've basted it with egg, we're ready to cook it. Basic cookie sheet. Preheated to 350, well the oven is preheated to 350, and we're ready to cook it for about 30 to 40 minutes or so. When this gets golden brown, then you know that you're done. All right, so we've been cooking for about 35, 40 minutes or so at 350, and we're about ready to take it out. What you're going to look for is a nice golden brown color to it. It is going to be sizzling and bubbling, um, and oh, that beautiful aroma. It's wonderful. All right, perfect. Okay. So as you can see, most of the time it will ooze a little bit, and it's going to seep some of the, um, the fat there. Um, but there we go. This thing is piping hot. I would recommend you wait about 5 to 10 minutes before you cut through, um, and then enjoy. We'll